Well, when birds are injured, maybe hit by vehicles, they're often taken in by groups who will care for them until they're ready to fly off. I'm Carly Robinson at the Alberta Society for Injured Birds of Prey, where some good news for this guy here, he's almost ready to take off. And there you go, buddy. A few more practice flights and this snowy owl will be off on his own. A different story for the society's newest owl found along the road near Lloyd Minster. That they had kept it in the truck overnight because they thought it was dead and then they got up in the morning and it was alive. The Edmonton Rescue traveled almost 500 kilometers to save this little miracle. She has a concussion and a number of fractures in her wings and was too tired for our cameras today. The other problem that the bird has though is that it has fluid in a lung. Um, so there's a risk of infection there, and we need to keep uh, to run a course of antibiotics. For more than 30 years, Carl Grantmeyer has been helping injured birds in Alberta. But in 2018, they haven't been able to take in as many. A January fire ravaged their aviary, leaving just a small space for their hawks. It's a lot easier to look after the birds if they've got space. They're slowly rebuilding and crowdfunding to cover the costs. Caring for these birds, where some species are seeing a decline, is a passion for Carl, saying most birds they see are hit by cars. We're driving some of the country roads at night. Just be careful. Just watch out. You can, the owls like to hunt the roadways. Their eyesight adjusts very quickly to changing light levels, more so than mammals and things, so it's easier for them to catch things. Carl says this bird hit in Lloyd Minster will take a few more weeks to get through the worst of it. But, but for this one, who has been recovering for almost two months, he just needs to lose a little weight before being set free in the new year. From Strathcona County, Carly Robinson, City News.